I came out of college, um, I started working on a long novel, and I thought that was going to be too long a novel to write. So I started on a shorter novel. So I wrote an homage to Fitzgerald's Gatsby. Um, I grew up on the North Shore, and I had a working relationship with, you know, the estates. Funny. So that got me interested in Fitzgerald, got me interested in the 1920s, and I could surely see that that many of those folks wound up in uh, many of those writers wound up in Paris. First of all, there was the devastation of World War One, which um, sunk that whole generation into um, you know a poverty of mind and realizing that in America the commercialization and the industrialization of the country was really prohibiting people from really expressing their beliefs. I think they found Paris to be a much more congenial place to, to live and to write and to uh, connect up with like-minded souls. Dos Passos, Hemingway, and maybe one other of the expatriates were in the ambulance corps during World War I. They got to know Paris, they got to love it, and stayed. I started to think about writing a play about it and setting it in basically in the cafes. So um, Joyce is in the play, Hemingway's in the play, Fitzgerald, um, Kay Boyle, uh, Robert McSorley, John Dos Passos. I've given them all different names, of course. The plot basically um, is the, uh, the conflict between uh, James Joyce and his followers on the one hand, and Gertrude Stein and her followers on the other hand. And, and that's where the conflict in the play is. The, the name of the play is um, uh, Divine Privilege. Uh, that was the um, expression of one of the writers as to life in those days. It was a divine privilege to be there. So act one is set in 22, which I think was the year that Joyce um, published Ulysses through the, through the Shakespeare Company. The second act is set in 25 when the whole Paris explosion had, had occurred. Um, Gatsby came out that year. The Sun Also Rises was to come out the next year. Uh, Dos Passos, Manhattan Transfer came out in 25. Um, and um, so I set the second act um, as sort of the peak of the, the, the time. And then I set the third act in the 1930s when it was all over. And when it was over, it was finished. Uh, there was this great explosion that happened, mostly you know, through Ulysses and Ezra Pound and uh, Gertrude Stein. Um, and, then, um, and then it flourished. Uh, they all published. Uh, and, then it, and then it sort of died off and they all went home.